Sudafin. My name is Suda Goichi from uh, Grasshopper Manufacturer. In the US, I'm called Suda51. So the title of this game is uh, No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. And this, for Grasshopper, this is the first uh, sequel that they are doing. And um, the first one was very quirky, very fun, but this time uh, the theme of this game is revenge because um, something happens to Travis and he is very, he's a little more serious this time. So he wants uh, No More Heroes 2 is gonna have what's good about the first one, but also it's gonna be a little more serious this time. So in the beginning, when we started uh, developing this game, uh, we, we like to cater to the fans. And one of the responses from the fans is that this is a really good action game. So what we tried to do was try to power up the boss enhancement battle. And it's not just clearing the game, but it's the way of showing it. And that includes the improvement of the AI. So you saw, you saw in the demo, the AI is a, is a lot smarter than the first one. And then also the camera. Um, it's not as erratic. Um, it, it is heavily improved. And also the dual beam katana, so you have different weapons so that there's a different element to using different weapons. And also the physics. So like you were saying, there was improvement in physics as well. And then visually, I think uh, if you compare it, uh, they, meet, they made visual improvements. And o overall, it's just a fun and a lot better experience. All right, there's been improvements so that the second one is, um, it just looks better and it plays better. So the, the thing that they wanted to, or the thing that we wanted to concentrate on was the action portion of the game. So if we make the open world a little bit more seamless, uh, we could concentrate all our resources on the action part. So that is, that is why we decided to use the 2D for the open world, make it easy, easily accessible so that you can progress through the game without feeling like it was getting in the way. So in the first one, there were elements of the 8-bit, but um, the reaction that we got was very positive. So we took that response and kind of ran with it. And the original plan was making about 10 uh, 2D 8-bit games. But the thing is, they started off at two or three and they're like, uh, they, were, they decided, wow, this is actually pretty fun. So that is, that is pretty much the reason why we, we have it the way it is right now. So the reason why the first one might have seemed like it was a little experimental is because the Wii hardware was also new at the time. So we were also experimenting as well. But now that we're making the second one, it was, it's a little more controlled, a little, a little more off the wall. And there was a there was a great combination of hardware and software. Um, after I made the first one, I thought I dropped the save and basically got everything out of my system. And that and the save is referring to his poo is what he's talking about. And, and he compared his poo to the first one. But then he realized I didn't get everything out on the first one. He still had stuff left over. So now he has to make the second one drop a bigger save. So, right, so the second one, the inspirations for the quirky uh, elements of two is like the robot battle or the bizarre jelly or stuff like that. It, it, is, it does come from pop culture, like um, references to American movies, uh, cartoons, games, everything. But after he made the first one, he thought he needs to make a better one, drop a bigger save. So that is basically the one reason why he made it to and where he got his inspiration. I think end of this year, everybody's going to be playing Mario on the Wii. So after after everybody in the world stops playing Mario, I think Travis is going to be the next character. So I think in January 26th, everybody's going to move from Mario to No More Heroes.